All right, so this is my 125 gallon turtle slash fish tank. And this is the idea I had for a floating dock for my turtles. Now, instead of using a floating dock, which is crap, and uh, instead of stacking up objects, taking up aquarium space, I chose to buy fish line. Pretty thick, so that way it doesn't cut you, or the, you know, for the, doesn't cut the fish or the turtles, and uh, clear, so you can't really notice it. On the outside, you can notice it a little bit, but not much. And what I did was, I, ran, I went over the tank, came underneath, and I tied it, double knotted, nice and tight. And I, I had it just the way I wanted, so I could have the driftwood just hanging on it. And that's what I get, I get two different pieces hanging on it, on three fish lines. And uh, the turtles love it. It looks natural, you know? And uh, it just sits there, just floating, because the driftwood, you know, can't float on its own. It's too heavy. And it looks great. They love it. They're on it constantly. And uh, that's my idea. <laughs> so this is my idea about using fish line to hold up either driftwood or stones. And right now, as you can see, I'm using stones. At first I was using driftwood in the first half of the video, but uh, then I figured, this is awesome driftwood. I want to use that in my tank. I don't want to use that for the dog. So I got some flat stones. A couple of them I already had. I got a couple more and they seem to like it. Works as a great conductor. It's nice and hot. A couple of them got scared, but as you can see, the other two are like, man, I don't care. I'm sitting up here, it's nice. So yeah, the fish line is uh, right under here. Let me turn the light on. And I just tie it, double knot it. And when I want to change it, I just undo it. <laughs> That's simple. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. If you want to use it, go ahead and do it up.